AMD and NVIDIA have gone back and forth this week with their Vulkan announcements. The API was fully ratified, so version 1.0 of the Vulkan API specification has been finalized, and AMD first announced its beta drivers for the Vulkan API, compatible presently only with the Talos principle, which is a game by Crow Team. And NVIDIA later, about a, uh, a couple hours later actually, came out and said that they had their own drivers available, and they very explicitly stated in the press release that their drivers were not beta, unlike some other people, and they were fully conformant and all these other things. So they, they did a bit of a subtle slam to AMD, maybe not so subtle. And we reported on that on the website, and then later NVIDIA came out and said, uh, oops, we had a, a misprint in our press release. Our drivers actually are beta, but they are fully conformant. So make of that what you will, but the point is that both companies have beta drivers available for the Talos principle and for the Vulkan API initial integration for the gaming world. The Talos principle has not fully optimized its Vulkan integration. The inclusion of the API is presently in very early stages, and the Talos principle team has indicated that even DirectX 9 performance used to outrank DirectX 11 performance within the game, but later optimizations resolved and switched over that performance, so DirectX 11 now, as it should, outperforms DX9. The team expects the same thing to happen with Vulkan, noting in its own FAQ that performance is low currently due to the early state of the build, but they do expect a switch over point at which time Vulkan will overtake DirectX 11 for performance. Test methodology is in the article linked to the description below. We used AMD drivers 16.15.1009 beta 4 and NVIDIA's 356.39 Vulkan beta drivers. Now these NVIDIA drivers are actually technically a bit older than their most recent driver, but they're the only ones that initially supported Vulkan. We were not able to collect our usual 1% low and 0.1% low metrics because our logging software does not pass through Vulkan currently. And so we were forced to use the game's FPS logging system instead. Fortunately though, the Talos principle actually has an exceptionally well-built benchmark and does report low frame rates and averages and all these other metrics that we can use in a very useful way. We ran the test currently in some pretty limited scenarios, so we're only looking at the 390X and 980Ti, and very clearly I want to state that this is not a 390X versus 980Ti benchmark. First of all, it's not a linear comparison, and secondly, we are looking at DirectX 11 versus Vulkan, not DX12, not 980 versus 390, it's just Vulkan versus DX11 on each of these cards individually. And then also we looked at this on only a 5930K, which is a good CPU to make sure we're GPU bound for the most part. But one of the things with these new APIs is that they should enable lower end CPUs like the i3s to better perform in a way that removes some of the draw calls geometric complexities from the CPU and pushes it onto the GPU. And that will improve the performance of low end CPUs by moving their tasks to parallel processors, i.e. GPUs. So that's not something we tested just yet. We want to wait for Vulkan and the Crow Team game to, to update a bit more first and mature. But for now, this is what we've got. And let's just look at the benchmarks right now. At 1080p Ultra, we observed a performance disparity of 57.89% for the R9 390X, favoring D3D11, 75.5 FPS for Vulkan, and 113.3 FPS averaged over three passes for DirectX 11, and that amounts to the averages with the low performance at 41.6 FPS versus 88.1 FPS. The 980Ti had a performance delta of 44.47 that favored DirectX 11, and the 980Ti at 1080p Ultra ran 90.7 FPS average with a 57.7 FPS low on Vulkan, and it had 127.2 FPS average versus 98.3 FPS low on D3D11. So again, a favorable gain for D3D11 over Vulkan. Moving on to 4K at Ultra settings, AMD's R9 390X shows a performance disparity of 47.8% between Vulkan and D3D11, favoring Microsoft's established API D3D11 or DirectX 11. The low performance is fairly tightly timed with the averages at 22.1 FPS low and 29.9 FPS average versus 39.2 FPS low and 48.7 FPS average depending on which API you're looking at. NVIDIA, interestingly, fronts a 31.67% performance disparity between Vulkan and D3D11, favoring DirectX 11, and that's a significant lead over AMD and FPS deltas at 4K, so we're curious to see whether NVIDIA can maintain its present advantage in the deltas anyway between Vulkan and D3D11, 
And again, not between the 980i and the 390x. This is just between the APIs as that's what we care about. So it'll, it'll be interesting to see if they can continue that lead as the API matures and as the Crow team development group continues advancing its own games support of Vulkan. So what does this mean for gamers? Well, right now, there's no real reason to use the Vulkan API with the Talos principle, as that is the only game that supports it on Windows anyway. So with the Vulkan API currently, you have to opt into a beta with the Talos principle. It crashes a whole lot, and it doesn't really perform nearly as well as DirectX 11. I mean, we're seeing 50% disparities in some cases. So it's not something I'd recommend for anyone other than someone who's benchmarking or is an enthusiast really curious to see what Vulkan looks like, or maybe you're a developer and you just kind of want to get into a debug mode or something and check it out from another team. So those are the only real reasons to run Vulkan right now. But as this thing matures, it could actually become a better option than DirectX 11. We'll see how that goes. But in theory, that's how it should work. It just really depends on the driver teams at NVIDIA and AMD and the, the Crow team development group at uh, the, making the Talos principle. So that's kind of what we're waiting on right now. Vulkan and DirectX 12 do not currently exist in the same game together. So we can't do a DX12 versus Vulkan test right now in a linear fashion. The only game DX12 really, there's a couple. There's the, the new Fable game. There's the upcoming Gears of War game should be DirectX 12. It's already out for consoles and will be coming to PC eventually, I suppose. <laughs> but Vulkan doesn't exist in either of those. Of course, Ashes of Singularity is another big DX12 benchmarking game, also does not have Vulkan. So until a point at which they exist in the same title, we can't do a head-to-head. -head, but for now, it looks like DirectX 11 is a bit advantaged over Vulkan and the Talos principle. And we're excited to benchmark the two going forward as both uh, drivers and the game update. So that is all for this video. Check out the link in the description below for more information and test methodology. Hit that Patreon link if you want to help us out directly. And subscribe if you like the content. I'll see you all next time. <laughs>